tonight at the sound table, myself, Troy Hill, we got Darius Lewis here with us, and we're going to go ahead and give you guys five quick safety tips to avoid the corona. What's your first tip, Darius? Wash your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, that's kind of self-explanatory. <laughs> um, I guess I add an addendum to that. Wash your ass. It's not that damn difficult. <laughs> Soap and water makes it just it just makes it just makes wonders. I mean, it's just it's just it's just what it does. Um, right. Number two, wash your damn house. Clean it. Do some damn dusting. If you wear a masky shit all the damn time and you go home and you open up your, your microwave to go ahead and warm up your meal and stuff for, for dinner, and it looks like 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 a like a like an animal exploded in your damn microwave, the mask ain't gonna help you. You don't get corona from that type of shit. So right. clean up shit. Yeah. I mean, damn, have you seen some of them? Just 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 look like like a like a whole family full of sea monkeys just exploding in a goddamn goddamn microwave and shit, man. <laughs> I just don't I don't get I don't get people. No, no, it's crazy. Third thing I'm gonna say, wa wash your hands regularly. Not not just you know I mean, you know people they're, now now they're just doing it just when they uh, go to the bathroom, which you should have been doing all along anyways. But no, wash your hands regularly. You know? Yeah, and, and and to the restaurants, I don't know, maybe I'm the only person that gets kind of like nervous about this shit. If you got to have a sign up in your restroom to remind your employees to wash their damn hands before they get back to their damn job and they're serving food, they right. probably shouldn't be working there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know how many people that you go to work with and stuff back in the day where we could actually be around everybody and stuff like a normal civilization? And you go in the bathroom and you'd be sitting there, you know, you'd be sitting there taking you using the bathroom and like all of a sudden Jimmy comes by and stuff. He's like, hey, Troy, you sitting there carrying a story with you, you know? And he's like, he's standing there talking, oh, about the, I'll tell you, that football game was something else. Well, he zips his pants up, just turns on, go out the damn door and shit. You know, <laughs> how many friends you got like that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's crazy, man. It truly is and stuff like that. Especially like you go to like sports games, like I go to, Cubs baseball game and stuff like that, and they have this big ass trough, you know. So everybody's in there, you know, and it's just like, man, you see so many people that don't even go over and wash their hands. They're just running right back out so they can see the game. And I'm like, and then you see that same person at the concession. I'm like, that is the nastiest shit. I know Jim, Jimmy's a <laughs> Jimmy's the first dude in line for the potluck at lunch and shit. <laughs> Still talking about that football game. I tell you, it was just wonderful. <laughs> Oh, here, let me see you. Give me some. <laughs> right. <laughs> I know. Just crazy stuff, man. Number four. Wearing a mask in a car probably will not help you, especially if you're the only person in said car, unless your car looks like that inside of that microwave we were talking about earlier with, you know, an animal exploded in. Keep your car, your car clean. Nobody wants to see all that damn junk and shit in your damn car. Just think about how much shit you're just collecting and shit just building up and all that type of stuff. You know, I know it gets busy during the week, but during the weekend, that should be like the first damn thing you do is straighten out your damn car. Right. Number five, wash your ass. Wash it again. After you cover all the other things, <laughs> go back and wash your ass again. <laughs> And after you wash your ass, make sure you wash your hands because you might have some ass residue on your hands that need to be washed off. <laughs> yeah. Better. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you never that, know. That, that should be the sign that they have in the restaurants for the employees and stuff like that. <laughs> Just wash, wash your ass. <laughs> <laughs> with with a picture with the picture of the black dude from a uh, Ghostbuster standing there like this, <laughs> just looking at you. Wash your ass. <laughs> I don't know why it has to be the dude from Ghostbusters, but it just I saw him in my mind. That shit just looked funny. Just him standing there. <laughs> Wait, don't he do those commercials for Car Shield and shit? <laughs> yeah, but he's been, but yeah, he instead he's doing a commercial now for you just to wash your ass and your hands. <laughs> Right, in, in, you know, in the restaurants. 
Yeah. That's just nasty. You know, people be going number two and don't be washing their hands, man. I know, I know. I, you know, I, I, you in the bathroom and you, you, you could hear the person in the stall next to you, you know, dropping bombs and stuff, and then they yeah. just come out and they just go, they just take off. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what what in the hell? You just took a dump and you ain't gonna wash your <laughs> hands. And the best up thing is most jobs ain't buying no more than they ain't buying two ply toilet paper. That's one ply. You probably just slipped and broke a finger through that paper and every damn thing. You just return back to work. That one ply, that ain't they ain't absorb them. Why even just say you don't poke a finger or do something, it's gonna go and then you don't wash your hands. Right. <laughs> then you're the first person, the first person they done brought they done bought in a a, a, chipol, a chipotle a spread for damn potluck and shit at lunch for the employees. You're the first person in line with, with shit residue on your hands and they're trying to eat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just nasty. I hate people like that. Downright nasty and stuff. I mean, what, what, what do you, how do you teach your kids any damn thing, man, if you got, you know, you taking dumps and ain't even washing your damn hands? Just think <laughs> <Yeah>. about that. <laughs> Just think about that. I mean, how's a, how's a kid take you serious? You try to tell them something serious, you're in the bathroom taking a dump, and, and, then, and then you flush the toilet, and you get out, and you're still talking to your kid, and, you, and the kid ain't heard no water running to wash his hands and stuff. Right, right. You know, the kid's going to start looking at y'all fucked up. Ain't going to respect you no more. Yeah. Dad's going to be like, oh, I'll take the trash out, son. Son's going to be like, fuck you, shitty finger, and he's going to run off because he ain't got respect for him no more. <laughs> It happens, man, don't it? I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. But anyways, that's the five things that you need to do. I don't even know if we even really gave five. Just wash your ass, please. Simple. Yes, yes. And wash your hands. And and then turn around and wash your ass again. Yes, yes. And then we wash write your a song about it. And then wash you your know, hands right after that. So. You, know, if, you know, if I could imagine some place in the 70s that there's probably a time where Ron Isley and Michael McDonald are probably both in the studio and they needed to make some type of song for prevention of spreading disease. And I'm sure they probably came up with something like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they did. Yeah, I can hear Ron, Ron Isley doing it right now. Wash your ass. You better wash your ass. <laughs> you gotta wash your ass. <laughs> <laughs> With that Gregory Hines shit, Gregory Hines in the background dancing. Wash your ass now, wash your ass, wash your ass, and wash your hands and wash your ass again. <laughs> Gregory Hines in the background. Is right. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they get Eddie Grant to join in with them. <laughs> oh, <hey. laughs> The guy, there's a guy, there's a guy that just took a dub. He's getting up. He's walking past the, he's walking past the water, and all of a sudden, his grand starts kicking in. Hey, with soap in his hands and shit. Yeah. You guys can wash your ass in Electric Avenue. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie Grant's doing burnouts on the motorcycle, <laughs> kicking up water. <laughs> at the ass and shit. Hand sanitizer, water, and shit, and soap. Hey! <laughs> well, uh, that's all we got. So we'll see you guys next time. Nice to the sound table. Make sure you subscribe and like and all that type of stuff. And we're out. All right. Peace out, people. Bye, people. We'll holler. <laughs>